Legendary Mount Rewards? Let's see what this entails. These packs are about to be hot garbage. We're getting most feards in February. Like, that's that's what I get? That's that's the pack? That's crazy. YouTube, what's up, boys? You see it everywhere. The best theme teams. This is the best theme team right now. The top five, the top 10 theme team, Super Bowl theme team, aka Cruise, Ghost of Madden theme team. You see it everywhere. All these 10 million, 20 million, 30 million coin theme teams, Super Bowl playoffs, everything, right? It's all nonsense. Now, you know what doesn't get talked about enough or really at all? is the, the worst five, the bottom five, the theme teams that suck. What? <laughs> We're gonna show some appreciation to these theme teams that are just absolutely horrible. And I mean no offense by saying this, it's just these theme teams don't get cards. It is what it is. It happens every year. It's been the Bills for a couple of years. This year we're decent like a, a mid-level theme team at best. But it, I've been there before, man. Uh, trust me, it sucks. And if you're a fan of these teams, I'm sorry. I wanna show some appreciation. And I also might be making videos for these theme teams this week. Kind of, you know, a little challenge to myself. If I can use the worst theme teams, what does that look like? What does that gameplay look like? Can we go to a Super Bowl? Can we win a Super Bowl with the worst theme teams in the game? However, today there won't be any gameplay. It's just going to be going through the lineups. So if a theme team, you know, like challenge gameplay type style video is something you would be interested in seeing, uh, drop a like on the video. Let me know down in the comments. I am absolutely open to building any of these theme teams and using them in a video for you guys. So without further ado, let's get in. We're gonna look at the bottom five, the worst five theme teams in the game today. Unfortunately, at the bottom of our list, well, actually the at the top of the bottom of our list, uh, coming in at number five. So this is what, the 27th best theme team, not even including the promo theme teams. The Jags come in at the five spot. You don't wanna be a number one. So I guess, I don't really know how to word it. I This is the fifth worst theme team and then and then the number one will be the worst okay yeah the fifth worst theme team the jacksonville jaguars we've got mercedes lewis at tight end calvin ridley Allen robinson tour hill mjd honestly the skill positions aren't really that bad this offensive line is pretty abysmal though Jawan taylor is the only card above 90 and i mean if you're using trevor lawrence in february you're probably down bad he does get five ap set feet lead two ap slinger so he is he, he at least gets velocity abilities but compared to these other cards, I, I mean, he is absolutely, he's a spec. The other cards are just gods compared to him. You get one AP jukebox on MJD, I'm pretty sure, or one AP evasive. Torrey Holt's actually a really good receiver. 95 speed, not, you know, not the best, but pretty good. Same with Ridley. Robinson's a bit on the slower side. We've got probably one defensive back that's usable in today's game, and it's Jalen Ramsey, who is, I mean, he's 95 speed with the plus two boost. So I don't, I mean, he gets pick artist. Any KOs, flat zone KO for two is probably what you'd have to use on him. And that's three AP for, you know, there's corners that are coming out that are 96 speed without any chems. You get Josh Allen on the edge, 93 speed. He gets under pressure, unpredictable. I mean, there's really, really no value there ability wise, which is unfortunate. Foisade, I think, does get Lurk Artist. So he gets Lurk Artist for one. It does not look like it. CJ Henderson, this card is just going to be god awful for you. 91 speed. Darius Williams he's unusable as well you've got donovan darius with 92 speed and basically no discounts no good abilities team diamond cisco i mean this card came out in november this this d line is is pitiful it's it's the defense that drops this team so low at least on the offense you have somewhat competent cards to you know move the ball but getting a stop on defense, you would just have to pray someone throws at Jalen Ramsey. Our next team, I'm not entirely sure how this team scored so low, but it is the Denver Broncos. We get Vernon Davis, Shannon Sharp. So immediately we've got two weapons. We also have Rod Smith. These other receivers are horrible, but Rod Smith is good. 97 speed on the theme team. You get Terrell Davis, which I, I just don't remember Joe Flacco being a Bronco at all. That like kind of sounds like a fever dream. I'm not sure that really even ever happened. Terrell Davis will be would be a beast on this team. Offensive line, you've got one card over a 90 and he, he, he isn't even over a 90. He just is a 90. I mean, this team is definitely better, right? It's hard to tell. These teams are all just so mid. I don't know if I can even rank these teams. They, I mean, using this team would not be fun. Ty, Ty Law and Champ Bailey are a step in the right direction. McNeil, I guess, is like somewhat usable. Simmons, not at all. Dawkins, honestly, 3AP deep out zone. Without that, probably not at all. I mean, he, both these cards are extremely outdated. Ty Law and Champ Bailey at least are pretty sick. And McNeil is like decent. 
you get certain and drc so it's like and i don't i don't mean to make this video just to like talk bad about these teams like i'm just being honest right so if you can't take the honesty then i mean this is a youtube video about a game that's fake it's not even real so like if you can't take that then you you've got to grow up we're looking at the patriots team next and this team i'm completely fine with talking bad about because this this theme team is absolutely horrible you've got jimmy g so good luck better buckle up you get two ap gunslinger and that's it so at least you don't have to you know use a bunch of ap on them but two ap gunslinger throw everything else on moss and gronk you're so gonna need it not even a really good running back I i'm assuming patterson's probably still usable um yeah pa patriots offense nothing really too special here but you might be able to get by the skill players are probably good enough ty law randy moss darrell revis samuel actually pretty solid dbs i would just run gonzalez and like samuel up here that's a start that's definitely a plus barmore i'm pretty sure gets one ap inside stuff he does and no outsiders as well will fork unfortunately doesn't get inside stuff at a discount uh you get user gronk this team actually this team actually is like kind of good this team is kind of good you get i mean gronk will get you a couple turnovers if, if you know what you're doing no fillers like it'll suck obviously you're probably gonna use a quarterback but using jimmy g would be awful I'll probably make a video on this team. Not gonna lie, I'll probably build this team myself and, and see if I can overcome uh, overcome this challenge. Okay, so we, we only really have two more teams to talk about. Um, Where are the Chargers? 89 overall is crazy. 89 overall in February. Like, that's just sad. It's just sad, dude. You get Breeze, Herbert, choice of either one, LT. Receivers are all pretty old. Tight ends old. Donald Parham like just came out, that safety card, but I think he's coming out next week. But I mean, I didn't watch all the MCS streams, so it doesn't really matter for me. Corners, uh, yeah, the corners are pretty abysmal. Keenan Allen is is a rather old card. Phillips and Derwin probably unusable as well. You, you just got Joey Bosa. Does Bosa get anything? He gets two AP edge threat. Defensive line, horrible. Corners, horrible. Safety's horrible. Bright spot, I guess, Joey Bosa. That's pretty much it on defense. Yeah, this this team, this is definitely the worst team we've looked at. And that sucks because the Chargers have so many cool players that could get cards. Like Antonio Gates could be getting a card. They could have made LT's card better. I mean, Keenan Allen, his, his best card's a free safety right now. And this is the only other team worse than the Chargers, also an 89 overall. Are they better than the Chargers? I mean, you have Derek Carr. Breeze is on both teams. You have Carr on this team. You get Olave with 97 speed who just came out. Taysom Hill's probably still decent. Just, you know, a fast card that'll break tackles. 290 overalls. Michael Thomas and Shahid are awful. Absolutely horrible. The, the thing is, the corners. Yeah, that's where this team just, I mean, this is awful. Lattimore, Alante Taylor, Bradley Roby. Roby is your best corner, and he was a set card that just came out in the Super Bowl promo. Uh, Davis gets, uh, he gets Lurk Artist. But yeah, uh, these, these teams are just sad, man. It's sad to look at these teams absolutely no love shown by ea this year whatsoever so what was that saints patriots chargers jaguars and uh broncos yeah bottom five it gets it's rough out here man it's rough on the streets if you guys are interested in seeing any of these teams on the channel and just watching me rage my brains out then let me know in the comments drop a like on the video i'm i'm kind of i'm kind of like stuck in the loop of just recycling the same like five or six theme teams right now with the updates on the channel so i feel like this would be a pretty fun change of pace for us and then it'll give us a week for more cards to come out for like you know the bills the texans the eagles the cowboys all that stuff using going through the gauntlet this week seeing if i can get a super bowl with each of these teams that are just horrible yeah just just want to hear some feedback from you guys if that's a uh if that's a smart move or not something you want to see and that's pretty much all we got uh, the theme team rankings, I'll link them down in the description below if you guys want to take a look. I just posted a video on it a couple days ago. Also, check out the CFM content on the second channel, More Jock. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start getting pretty consistent over there with the uploads, a couple uploads a week, and we're going to probably try some other things out too. So if you guys have been enjoying the content, I appreciate you. I'm going nowhere here to stay. And, uh, and that being said, Jock signing out.